Hello everyone! In this video, we will be solving basic logarithmic equations with different bases, and this is the third example. Before we go over this example right here, let's have a review on change of base formula. If we are given log of c to the base a, using the change of base formula, we can rewrite this as That would be log of C over log of A. Please remember that in this expression, the base that we have here, which is invisible, is 10. So this is actually log of C to the base 10 over log of A to the base 10. This expression that we have here is very important because most calculators are set up to the base of 10. So we can go ahead and just use this. However, we can come up with a more general expression that is equivalent to this expression that we have right here using the change of base formula. And that would be log of c to the base b over log of a to the base b. This means that this base that we have right here doesn't have to be 10 every time. It can be any number. So I write that with a um, variable b. This is only true when both of these bases on the numerator and the denominator would be the same. So this is the general rule for the change of base formula. Okay, going back to the example that we have here, we are supposed to solve for x log of quantity x plus 3 to the base 2 equals log of 2x plus 5 to the base 4. In this example, we cannot use the equality rule for this since this two bases that we have here, 2 and 4, are not the same. So we cannot equal their argument. So the first thing that we're going to do is to make sure that their um bases are the same so we're going to use the change of base formula in order that we can make their base the same so we can go ahead and write this expression that we have here using the change of base formula so this would come out log of that's gonna be x plus 3 over log of 2 so I use the change of base formula for that and that is equal to, I'll do the same thing for the other one. So this would come out log of 2x plus 5 over log of 4. Our next target is to determine what base do we write here. We can use any base for this, but our target is to make this denominator into a whole number so that we can go ahead and say that the common number for both of these or the common base for both of these would be 2. So we take 2 to all of these. So 2 is divisible by both 2 and 4. So that we can go ahead and rewrite this as so that's going to be log of x plus 3 to the base 2 over log of 2 to the base 2. That means we need to determine what should be the um, exponent of 2 so that we can get 2 right there. So that would be 1 and that is equal to the log of that's going to be 2x plus 5. I copy the numerator to the base 2 over the log of 4 to the base 2 means what should be the exponent of base 2 so that we can get 4. So that should be 2. So log of 4 to the base 2 is 2. So as you can see here, both of them have the same uh, basis now. They both have 2 on them. However, we have a 2 here and we have a 1. So what are we going to do is we can actually cross multiply this so that we can get rid of the um, 2, the 1 here at the bottom. So we can cross multiply these 2 and cross multiply these 2. So our equation would come out. Okay, so after cross multiplying them, then this is how the equation is going to look like. Now we remember that the coefficient of any logarithmic expression is actually the exponent of this um, argument that we have here. So we can go ahead and put this 2 up there as an exponent for this argument. So then our equation would come out. Okay, now what are we going to do is we are going to use the um, area model for this to multiply this x plus 3 squared. So using the area model for this, this would come out.
Okay, so this x plus 3 squared is actually x squared plus 6x plus 9. So we can go ahead and rewrite this um, equation that we have here, and it's going to look like this. Okay, if you notice, our equations now have the same base. So that is our target. We always have to make sure that their bases are the same. Once their bases are the same, we always remember the equality rule. This means that these two arguments that we have here would be equal to each other. So this Two, the ones that I put inside the box would be equal to each other since we have log of uh, base 2 to both of them. So we just have to drop this log of base 2 um, and so that we can just equal these two arguments here so that we can go ahead and solve for x here. So we're going to equal them to each other and this is how it's going to look like. Okay, so what I did was I had to use the zero product property for this. Uh, that means I need to make this side equal to zero. And so I need to factor this out. So I'm going to use the uh, box and diamond for this. And I'm going to show the box and diamond on the side here. Okay, so the factors for x squared plus 4x plus 4 is x plus 2 and x plus 2. So we can go ahead and say this is x plus 2 and x plus 2 and that is equal to 0. Using the zero product property, we can go ahead and um, solve for x. So I'm just going to show the work down here. Okay, so both of them get negative 2 as their um, answer for x. So that we can go ahead and check if negative 2 uh, really work for this equation. So I will show the uh, check on the side right here. So we go ahead and um, plug this um, negative 2 to the original equation that we have here. So our equation would come out that would be log of... That's going to be, we put in the negative 2, so negative 2 plus 3 is 1. So again, we are checking on this side right here, and that is to the base 2. Is that equal to, that would be log of, we put in again the um, negative 2 right there. So negative 2 times 2 is negative 4 plus 5 is 1, and so that is to the base 4. Now, if we say... Um, log of 1 to the base 2 and log of 1 to the base 4, we're going to ask ourselves what should be our um, exponent for 2 so that we get 1. So that is a 0. And so this one right here, what should be our exponent to 4 so that we get a 1? So that should be a 0. So 0 is equal to 0. This means that our value for x, which is equal to negative 2, we can just go ahead and write x as negative 2. I just did it twice here. So, but then our x is actually equal to negative 2. And it works because when we plug this negative 2 back into this equation here, it's going to make the equation equal to each other. It's going to make both sides of the equation equal to each other. That's it. If you find this video helpful, hit like and subscribe for more math videos. See ya.